Let's do some calculations with weak acids and weak bases. We're going to talk about the salt of hydrocyanic acid and formic acid. Now the salt is the compound that's formed when you react the acid with a strong base. You form the salt, you take the counter ion, so if you reacted hydrocyanic acid, HCN, with NaOH, the strong base sodium hydroxide, you would form sodium cyanide, the conjugate ions from the base and the acid, sodium coming from the strong base and cyanide coming from the acid. So the salt of acids contains the weak base. If I did that with formate, I'd take formic acid and react it with sodium hydroxide. I'd form sodium formate. And sodium formate contains the formate ion. That's the conjugate base of formic acid. So let's look at those two salts or conjugate bases, the cyanide ion and the formate ion prepared at 0.1 molar, which has the lower pH, and let's calculate that. So, oh, actually I've said which is less basic. So, which has, still, which has the lower pH. So, if I have a Ka or a pKa, I can interconvert. Ka is 10 to the minus pKa. I've been given pKa's here. So I can calculate the Ka's for HCN is 10 to the minus pKa, the Ka for formic acid, 10 to the minus pKa, and I can do the math there and get the equilibrium constants. And now from those equilibrium constants, Ka and Kb, I can get the conjugate base, the Kbs, the equilibrium constants for their conjugate bases or their salts. I can do that because Ka times Kb is Kw, so Ka times Kb is always 10 to the minus 14th for any acid or base. And if I take minus log of that expression, I get pKa plus pKb is 14. So I can easily then take the sum. If I know Ka, I can quickly calculate Kb. So let's do that. Kb for Cn minus is 14 minus 9.31 or 4.69. And Kb for HCOO minus, the formate ion, is 3.75, 14 minus 3.75, or 10.25. So now I have the relative base concentrations, the relative base strengths. The relative base strength of cyanide ion larger than the formate ion. So the formate ion is the weaker base. It will be less basic in solution. It'll have the lower pH. So let's calculate that. We're going to take 0.1 molar K uh, of the formate ion. Its Kb is 10 to the minus 10.25, or 5.62 times 10 to the minus 11. I can calculate if I take 1 molar, 0.1 molar, formate ion, sodium formate, and I put that in water, that forms sodium ions and formate ions essentially 100%. Sodium salts completely dissociate. And then this ion, the formate ion, reacts with water to form the base. So formate ion plus water forms OH minus the base and, of course, the conjugate acid of the formate ion. So by forming this base, that's what raises the pH above 7 when you put sodium formate, a salt, in water. How much base is formed? Well, we can do the calculations. We can say, well, I took 0.1 molar of this ion from the salt and put it in water. Initially, there was no OH minus. Of course, we know in water there's 10 to the minus 7th OH minus, but that's essentially zero, and no conjugate acid. Some of that will dissociate, a small amount minus X. It'll form X moles per liter of OH minus and X moles per liter of the conjugate acid. This is the one we're interested in, so X is the OH minus concentration. I can plug these equilibrium values, 0.1 minus X, X and X, into the equilibrium expression for this reaction. The equilibrium expression will have the two products, X times X, X squared, over the reactants, 0.1 minus X, has to equal the equilibrium constant. And here I just solve for x. The easiest way to do that is 
In this case, you see the equilibrium constant is small. That means x is small. If the equilibrium constant is small, x, which is the amount that dissociates, should be small. So I'll just assume that it is. Small with respect to 0 0.1. If it is, I can neglect x with respect to 0 0.1. That makes the math easy. Here I'd solve the quadratic equation, which you can do, especially with a modern calculator. You could solve directly the quadratic equation, but easier to make an assumption. And when you make that assumption, x squared is 5.62 times 10 to the minus 12th. And then just take the square root, and you get the OH minus concentration. And you see it's 2.37 times 10 to the minus 6. And indeed, that's much smaller than 10 to the minus 1. Our original concentration, 10 to the minus 1, the amount that dissociates, about 10 to the minus 6. So it's indeed true that x is small compared to 0 0.1. I have the OH minus concentration. And in water, H3O plus times OH minus is always 10 to the minus 14th. So we have two equilibria occurring simultaneously, the equilibria that produces this OH minus and the water auto ionization equilibrium, which holds H3O plus and OH minus product at 10 to the minus 14th, allows me to solve for H3O plus. The H3O plus concentration, 10 to the minus 14th, over this OH minus concentration that I just found. So H3O plus concentration is 4.21 times 10 to the minus 9. Now, I solve for H3O plus because that's how we get the pH. We take minus log of H3O plus. I could have taken minus log of OH minus. That would be the pOH, and then subtracted that from 14. That's the same mathematics, basically. Or say the pH is minus log of H3O plus and 8.37. So here we have a salt of a weak acid, formate ion, added to water. It makes the water slightly basic. Here's how you do calculations with weak acids and weak bases.